Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to another FIFA Women's World Cup quarterfinal review, first game of the day. I know it's quite late to review it, especially with 20 minutes to the next game, but Italy up against Holland, who are the Euro 2017 winners slash holders. And they won the favourites of this tournament, kind of. Now, they're expected to do well. Into the quarterfinal, up against Italy, a team who have had a really good resurgence in the last couple games. Going through in that final group stage game for literally final minute, final moment of the game. And Netherlands, a team, I don't even think Italy have... I should might be wrong about Italy, I don't know how far they've got. But for Holland, first ever time that they can get into a semi-final. They've never done it. This this will be the first time if they win. And going into half time, nil nil. Both sides are even. The Netherlands are the better team throughout the game. Just in general, they were so much better. They dominated possession 63 well, say 63%. Italy got more into it. And towards the end of the first half. But at the end of the second half, but 20 shots for Holland, 8 for Italy, 9. They, Holland had more shots on target than Italy did in total. That just shows Italy were not that dominant. Like, Holland had so many more shots, so many more opportunities. Should have scored a lot more, but they won 2 goals to nil. Videma in the 70th minute opened the scoring. 1-0, and from that moment, Holland just had it constantly going for the second goal. 10 minutes later, Van der Glacht on the 80th minute, securing Netherlands' victory and their place in the semi-finals. Up against either Germany or Sweden, which is again the kicks off later, which I've mentioned. But, it was a Spitz a free kick, and then... Yeah, Van de Gracht. I don't want to, I don't know if that's the same. I might be right. Converted home from the free kick. But the European champions really face Germany or Sweden. I think Germany will beat Sweden. So that's what I'm just gonna say. Holland versus Germany in the semi final. But that one kicks off in literally fifteen minutes. So I'm gonna try to get this up a little bit quicker. I'm only gonna try to make it four minutes, so I've got another minute to talk. But in the second half, just to show dominant Holland were, 15 shots, 15 shots in one half. Thank you Sky Sports for interrupting. And it was just all Holland completely for the second half. Italy just didn't have a go, attack after attack after attack for the Netherlands. Uh, Jackie Groenen, the Manchester, Manchester United player, she had a couple great chances. There were some brilliant one-twos being played between actually multiple players, especially in the final third for Holland. Leek Martins is just amazing, incredible. So quick on the ball with her short passes. Easily able to get past three, four players very quickly, tight on the ball. Kind of like Messi, where he just spits it from one leg to the other. Amazing. That's, that's why she's at Barcelona. But Italy, who were not expected to do well, because it's the first World Cup in 20 years to exit here at the quarterfinal stage. But topping a group with teams like Australia, who were expected to do very well in this tournament. They're a very good team. Brazil, Jamaica. And then beating China in the last 16, I know China. But China are a very good side, surprisingly. Because in men's football, they're not. Or they're getting better at football, in just in general, with investment. Which you can see in the Chinese Super League. With all the big name players from men's football going to it. The women's team's constantly improving. But to end it, just with some stats. Eight of Holland's ten goals have come in the second half with five coming after the 75th. Half of their goals in the World Cup have come after the 75th minute. And the Dutch have scored more headed goals than any other team of this World Cup with five. I think two this game, both of the goals were headers. The third side to win the first Women's World Cup, excluding the first tournament. 
I, oh, to win their first quarterfinal. So I didn't really understand that. Yeah, their first quarterfinal. Brazil did in 99 and Canada in 2003. It was a pretty good start because there's loads of pressure. Your country, first time you're representing your country in a World Cup, let alone just in general. And then the first time your country gets to a quarterfinal to win it. Especially against a team like Italy who are on a massive winning streak after starting off pretty badly. But they've done very well. And they've won the last 11 tournament games. Six in the Euros, which they won, and five here at the World Cup. Don't worry, leave a like, subscribe. I'll be back in like two hours to review the next match. Bye.